Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing a table of values for a linear graph. So we've got different values of x, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, etc. And we want to work out the y values for each of those x values. And we're going to use this equation here as like a rule for telling us how do we work out the y value based on the x value. And basically all we need to do is to take each of these values of x and substitute it into this equation and that allows us to work out what the y would be for particular values of x and if you're wondering well what's the point of doing this it's because usually you would then take this table of values and you would plot that as a graph so you draw a graph using these different coordinates these x y coordinates but we're not going to do that in this particular video so let's take uh, one of the simpler ones if x is zero so here x is zero and we want to work out y so let's use this rule here the y value is equal to 2 times the x value. 2x just means 2 lots of x, 2 times x. So 2 times 0 in this case, x is 0, plus 3. Now what's 2 times 0? That's just 0. Plus 3 is 3, so the y value is going to be 3. What about when x is 2? When x is 2, we get y is equal to 2 times 2, 2x, 2 times 2, plus 3. And that's going to be equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's going to be 7. Now you might have spotted a pattern by this point. Um, can you see the y values are going up by 2 each time? Look, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, etc. And in general, whatever it's going up by will be the number in front of the x. So if it's 2x, then these numbers are going to go up by 2 each time. So we could therefore work out what this value is without having to substitute minus 3 into this. Well, if we go down by 2, we can see it's minus 3. But let's just work it out in the same way as we did before. If the x value is minus 3, y is 2 times minus 3, 2x, 2 times minus 3, plus 3, now, 2 times minus 3, positive times negative is negative, so it's minus 6 plus 3. And what's minus 6 plus 3? It's minus 3. So, indeed, we get the value we expected, which is minus 3.